We're joined by Coach Prime and Shadua right here. Gentlemen, what's going on? Good seeing you. Appreciate you joining us. Hey, Coach Prime, I want to start off with this. New beginnings once again with Colorado now joining a new conference. Like I said, the 16-team Big 12. What about the new fresh start in the new conference? Well, we're excited. Uh, we have the best commissioner, I believe, in the game. And, and Brett, I mean, he's done a phenomenal job. Um, the coaches have opened their arms and their hearts to me to welcome me. And they've been so they've been so wonderful, man. I mean, I feel the love. I still feel the support. They text me, call me if you need anything, any advice on this or that. I mean, so I love that aspect of it. But I can't wait to play. I can't wait to start getting it on. We've been working our butts off all summer, man. I think we have a, another week and a half of workouts, and it's time they're going to have a break, then they come back at the end of the month to start gearing it up for real. You know, Coach, it's, uh, it, it, it's, I'm going to ask you something that you've never had to do, but I'm going to give you an opportunity with your coaching hat. If Shadur Sanders was on another team and you had to look at the tape, what would scare you the most about facing your son at quarterback? Giving him time. I can't give him time. If I give him time, I know what the result's going to be. If I give him time in the pocket, he's going he gonna to rip me up a little bit. And I can't show my hand because, you know, like I, I tell somebody in my corner sometimes, guys, don't quit quit showing him parallel feet. Parallel feet, he knows cover two. Like, don't do that. He'll check off on you at practice. He's going he's gonna to do that. And he sees the field really well. Um, but one of the main things that he does really well, and I can say this sitting right by him, He's a relational man. I mean, he's a relational person where he forged relationships, not only with his linemen, because they love him to life. He don't go anywhere without them. Uh, but the running backs, the receivers, I mean, the specialists, everyone on there, they, they want to play for him. They want to go fight for him. They want to ride with him. So you know, hearing something like that from your father, and I'm sure a lot of other coaches look at the film the same way, but also living up to the expectation that a lot of people have placed on you entering the season. How do you feel about that? Well, he ain't lying about anything he said. He ain't lying. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, the expectation and that, it always been that since day one. Uh, even in high school, even in Little League, we're always everybody's Super Bowl. So uh, really just inheriting that mindset from him and when, when, when he was playing in his days and him building us up all the way from six years old, running snakes all the way at the Prosper House, which sometimes he probably forgot. But I'm just thinking now about running snakes. That's a snake far running away. across the field, up five yards. That's what he mean. Not not with real snakes, like running. <laughs> yeah, I said, I see that 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 right there. That 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 makes a grown man out you at a young age. So yeah. now I feel like he he, I kind of let him be kind of in cruise control now, and I and yeah, I got to let me. Ah, he got it. Yeah, you build me up to this point to be able to take over everything. So True. that's what it is. True that. <laughs> well, coach, one of the things that you do is you certainly breathe a lot of confidence in all your players. But another player that you've really been talking about has been Travis Hunter. You're one of the last right. two-way players, maybe the last two-way player in the NFL. And so Travis is doing it at the collegiate level. When you watch him, what makes Travis Hunter so special? Travis loves the game of football, number one. Secondly, Travis' athleticism is off the charts, and he's a ball getter. Like, when the ball's in the air, offensively or defensively, he's going to make the play. Um, there's no 50-50 ball with Travis. When the ball is up there, 70-30 or 80-20. He's going to go get the ball. He <laughs> knows that. But like, if he's one-on-one, -on -one, just throw it, throw it up there. He, he's going to make a player get the P.I. at one or the other. And the kid loves the game. Now, we challenge him to study his butt off. So he's prepared not only physically but mentally um, for the challenges week to week. But the worst thing to do is to take him off the field. You want to keep him on the field. And I, and I get a kick out of all these, uh, you know, armchair quarterbacks and, and players telling me how I should play him, how he shouldn't play, and how many reps he should get during a the game. They don't understand. He's going to be more of a problem to you on the sideline than on the field. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shadir, let me put, let me put it this way because earlier your dad said – uh, at media days today, he's the best, that Travis Hunter is the best wide receiver and the best cornerback in college football. So let me ask you this, Shitter. Would you prefer throwing the ball to him or challenging him in practice when he's guarding some of those other standout wide receivers you guys have? I mean, well, of course, throwing it to him, but you get the best of both worlds, though. You get Monday, Tuesday, he gets to be on your team, then Wednesday, Thursday, 
he's uh, on the opposite side of the ball. So it's definitely competitive. You know, you're going to be on your game a little bit more when he's out there. So it gi- it gives the receivers a chance to challenge uh, him and him challenge the receivers, but you're not going to go against a better corner than Travis in practice. Right. Okay. So on that note, we saw today the, the EA sports college football game rankings came out. Travis Hunter's rated a 95, one of the highest rated players in college football in the game. And Shadira, you're tied for at 93 for the highest rated quarterback in the game. We know you guys love the game. We know you like guys love to play. What about that? How's their tie? Like, how's their tie? I don't do it. Either one of them. Like, do you do you hate so bad that you got to give them a tie? There ain't no ties in football. Like, there ain't no ties. We don't want no tie. No, we ain't we ain't accepting no tie. Ain't no tie. Just say what it is. Bucky, say Bucky, you. Bucky, you know, you're one of the best analysts I know. Now, you know, whenever I need information, who I call? I call you. That's right. Bucky, you don't call me. I, yes. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. Take him off this team but and take the other one. team and see what the record is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Prime. Hey, Prime, I got to ask you this because you made some changes on your coaching staff, and your coaching yeah. staff is real heavy with NFL expertise and experience yeah. what made you go the pro route as opposed to adding more college coaches around your program Bucky, I'm a, that's a great question my brother and i appreciate you asking me that i'm a i'm a pro man like through thick and thin i'm a pro and i and i think at another level uh we have some tremendous college coaches on our staff but when it comes to the coordinating and it comes to the majority of the staff i want to be around guys that have been there, guys that have done that, because our lights are bright, man. And I can't have you, you know, your eyes getting big, you're getting a little sensitive, you're getting a little salty, you're getting a little afraid when the, when the things light up over there on that sideline. So I like pros because we've been there, we've done that, and we understand one another. But that's not taking nothing against our collegiate coaches that we have on staff. But I think right now, especially with the Daily Thomas, we have over 140 some years of pro experience on the sidelines, and that's relatable to where these young men want to go. It's hard to take somebody where you've never been. Well, again, you, our, our guy Warren Sapp is on your staff too. We know he's doing a good job. But shooter, I, you know, one thing that you know I want to ask you because we know one of the great metrics when we talk about the best quarterbacks in the country at any level is touchdown to interception ratio. Last year, 27 TDs. Just to three interceptions in your three-year collegiate career, 97 touchdown passes. And don't forget, you missed a game and a half last year too. Yeah, well, you missed that, a game. <laughs> that part too. Okay, yeah. but you, you you reminded us. But look, in your college career, I mean, 97 touchdowns, just 17 ints. Why do you see the field so well, and why do you think your decision making is so precise that you avoid the mistakes that hurt your team? I would say. I, I, I would say. From a young age and understanding, dad put me on offense and defense to understand, you know, coverages and things like that. Um, So I feel like those are small stepping stones from each year. Each year you get improvement in different areas and you're able to get a lot of different pitches. I played a lot of football starting from freshman year of high school uh, all the way to now. So it's just a lot of games, a lot of experience, a lot of different situations knows the pros, knows the cons, and learn from certain situations that you have so you don't make the same mistakes. And I like that. Let me add to that. You got to really understand what he just said. He's played a lot of football. How many quarterbacks you know have started every game in their high school career? Every game uh, in youth. Every game in college except for a game and a half where he was injured last season. He started every game. So that's a lot of playing. That's a lot of coverages. coverages. That's a lot of understanding situational football. That's a lot of understanding talent levels. Um, I got to put the ball on his back shoulder or I can lead him down the field because he can make that grab, 50-50 ball. Like That's a lot of understanding of, of football. And the first thing I taught him, like he said, I taught him defenses. I taught him defense. You don't teach a quarterback routes. You teach him defenses. You know, Prime, I, I want to ask you this because I know in your heart of hearts you're an old school coach, but everyone talks about today's generation of player. Having played yesteryear but dealing with a new kind of player, what are the challenges of coaching today's athlete compared to when you were playing? Um, NIL, elected. I want guys that want to play in the NFL. 
I don't want guys who are all about the NIL. I want you to get paid. I'm going to help you get paid. I'm going to trust me. I'm going to help you get that bag. And he knows that. But your focus got to be being great. Because when you're great, that bag is going to chase you and you don't have to chase it. So he knows, and I'm out, but the whole team knows. If you want to make me mad, start talking about some money or start talking about getting paid or getting broke off or start talking like that. Yeah. You dominant, I'm going to help you get it. I'm going to make sure I'm going to make sure you get it. Look, if you want to keep it 100 and get it 100, these are the two dudes to talk to, Bucky. Coach Prime, Shadur, thank you so much for joining us. Best of thank luck you. this season. And we're getting ready to call EA Sports and break that tie for you too, Shadur. Yeah, ain't yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. First of all, how can Travis not have the high? Like Travis, Travis should be 99, shouldn't he? Like, who else? There's nobody <laughs> caught that much. the best receiver and the best corner in college football. How how can he? Like, they don't even, it don't even make sense. But I, I it's us. It sounds like it's, <laughs> it, it sounds like a segment for Twenty First and Prime. Sounds like a segment for Twenty First and Prime. Maybe we can bring that back. Here we go. We gotta bring that back, baby. Here we go. We bring that back. <laughs> all right, Jess, we gotta get out of here, man. You, Bucky. Hey, we could do this all day. But the honest door, thank you so much, man. Really do appreciate you. I appreciate y'all, man. God bless you. I love y'all, brothers. Y'all know that, man. Y'all some good dudes, man. Oh, man. We could continue talking for another 15 minutes of Prime and should